News. We begin this hour with Israel's war with Hamas. Israel's ground offensive is now expanded into urban refugee camps in central Gaza. And here you can see Israeli troops making their move. People reported heavy bombing in the area. This is where tens of thousands evacuated because northern Gaza was just too dangerous. Now the danger moves south. Israel says Hamas is hiding among civilians at these camps. And if the terrorist organization isn't fully wiped out, there'll be another attack just like October 7th. Let's welcome in Dan Perry. He is former Europe, Africa, and Middle East editor for the Associated Press. He joins us now live from Tel Aviv. Uh, wonderful to have you. We'll dive right in. Israel's Minister of Strategic Affairs, I know you know, met with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan just last night. So a source tells us they discussed transitioning to a different phase of the war. Uh, what more do you know about those talks? The U.S. wants Israel to be more surgical um, and to, uh, at the same time, move faster towards the goal because it, uh, it is, is untenable in terms of public opinion, uh, I think, for President Biden and not only uh, for this to continue much longer at the pace of civilian casualties uh, that, that we've seen. Uh, Israel, of course, has been arguing and attempts to persuade the Americans that it's doing all it can to minimize the civilian casualties, but the numbers are large. Uh, and the political fallout is considerable. And I think that is fundamentally the shift that we're going to see into probably blunt force for the next week or two. But after that, uh, uh, a U.S. encouraged uh, a transition to a more surgical phase that can sustain the prolonged war, because at the same time, uh, Israeli officials are all saying that, um, that this will take uh, many months longer to achieve anything resembling their ultimate aim, which is removing Hamas from power in Gaza, or, and this they don't say, uh, a potential fallback position of degrading them uh, to the point where it's tolerable for Israel to pull out. So I do want to dig deeper into that in just a moment. But another uh, very passionate stance so many hold, as you know, is these efforts to bring the hostages home. We know President Joe Biden spoke with Qatar's leader on Tuesday. Uh, where do those negotiations stand right now? They're going on all the time, but there are two different versions of Hamas. The political leadership of Hamas, uh, uh, which basically is uh, living in exile in Qatar and some luxury also, I may add, uh, is what passes for more moderate. And they're more interested in finding a way out of this and bring, bringing about a situation where Hamas can be part of the joint political leadership with a moderate Fatah movement currently based in the West Bank. Uh, at the same time, the, the so-called military leadership of Hamas run by uh, Yehia Sinwar in the Gaza Strip is presenting a very maximalist position now, I would caution anyone from believing anything uh, said by people who are actively involved in a fight and a rather desperate one at that. So who knows if Sinwar is going to fold eventually. Israel uh, is, is, is banking on that, that when the pressure becomes large enough, Sinwar will, in the end, hand over the hostages and try to negotiate for himself some kind of deal, maybe a uh, uh, you know, uh, free pass to, to join his friends at Qatar. Uh, but there is no evidence yet in public and I cannot tell you I'm speaking to Sinwar personally, so I don't really know much more than anyone else does about Sinwar's actual, uh, um, you know, ultimate uh, negotiating position. But it would appear like he's holding out for now, and it's basically a game of chicken. Israel is banking that he'll eventually break during their window of legitimacy, which I think is another month or maybe a bit more uh, of prosecuting the war the way they have been. And Sinwar is hoping that the world pressure will force Israel to fold while he's still standing and holding hostages. And at that point, it becomes a prolonged standoff with Sinwar undoubtedly presenting maximalist demands for what he gets in return for the hostage. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.